We are back with a brand new episode for Back Pass with Russ. It's been a long time in waiting as I've been very busy with the organization of a youth football tournament for Singapore's sports governing body, Sport Singapore. And in that time, we have made a free transfer signing on the Bosman ruling. Those of you listening in, all the old school fellas, you will know that. So once a guest on our show, now a co-host, presenting to you our young blood, Joel Robert. How are you hey, doing, Joel? What's up, Russ? It's glad to be back on Back Pass once again. I'm, I'm glad to be a uh, real honour again. And uh, yeah, I'm doing great, man. I mean, a little bit dry on football side uh, with our own club duties. But hey, football is never ending and it's never going to go dry. And uh, we are just going to rock and roll tonight. All right, cool. So just take note, your name from this moment onwards in, on this show will be Young Blood. All right, my young blood. Here we go. <laughs> and our, our resident young man, Kelvin, he's not in on the show today because yep. of uh, work commitments. And without further ado, let me introduce our guest today. Those of you watching this on YouTube will already know who the guest is, yep. but he deserves an introduction. And he is a player that held the record at one point of time for the most yeah. number of international caps for his country, 121. In case you're wondering which country it is, it is Singapore. And he's someone I watched as a kid as part of the 1993-1994 Singapore team in the Malaysia Cup and Malaysia League as well in those days. Someone I have the fortune of knowing in a professional capacity as well, Mr. Malik Awab. How are you, Malik Awab? Apa kabar? Uh, bye. Thank you. All good. All under control. All under control, right? Yeah. right so I'm expecting an explosive show of you, Malik. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Uh. So, anyways, straight to the questions now. Interesting fact, a fun fact. Malik actually never played football at the school level at all. He was playing badminton, believe it or not. So, Malik, Seriously? what interested you in playing football? And interestingly, you never got selected for your school. So, why? Uh, I think straight to the point. Uh, either they say I'm small. Uh, uh most of the time lah, my height is a problem. <clears throat> but what interested you to football? Uh, because when I was in Kampung, ah, hmm. uh, every weekend I follow all the the my brothers and uh, my group, my brothers group, uh, to Diamond Secondary School, no? they play uh, kick around, no. Mm. Around that area, like Gelang, no. Mm. I just follow them, and sometimes they got game. I follow them also. I carry pail. Sometimes I become nice man. I just follow <laughs> lah, just to be part of them also. Okay, which kampung was that? Uh, Gelang, no. Okay. Uh, now they oh. they call Tanjung Katung Complex. Ah, okay, uh, okay, okay. All right. So yeah. how was it that the former Singapore national coach Jita Singh spotted you and called you up for the national team in 1980? I, I think when I was playing for Ferro Park, lah, mm. uh, I'm quite lucky. Lah, maybe he spotted me. Mm. Uh, there is a big chance for me. Lah. Okay. I think I don't, I don't waste my time. I straight away make sure that I can, can be part of the team for quite some time. Lah. Mm. Yeah, that's good. So Ferro Park was actually a team like um, amateur team or... I mean, back then, I know there wasn't any... No, no. Team. Yeah, a, ma a major team. Fenner Park is a major team. Mm -hmm. Actually, the one that bring me to Fenner Park also is mm -hmm. another, another, another another guy uh, who is my classmate who, who is also a footballer. Okay. Uh, his name is Syed Anwar. Okay. Said the best Anwar. part, he asked me, Malik, you come along now. We go to Fenner Park to play. I said, okay. For me, why not? Uh? I want yeah. to play football now. And you know, I also study, my my paper is too good, no? <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Uh, then I, I, I told him, why not? I follow him. Uh. But ding dong, ding dong, the best part. I'm selected, he's, he's not selected. Oh. He bring me and he's not selected. I feel sorry for him also. But, but I don't think he, he really is serious about football also. This guy by the name of Syed Anwar. Uh -huh. Okay, Said Anwar, shout out to you if you're listening. Shout out to him, man. <laughs> it's not for him, Raz. It's not for him. I think we, I think Singapore would not have found a gem in him, man. Yeah, that is true. So, <laughs> thanks, Said Anwar, for spotting yeah. this talent yeah. called Malik Awab. 
Okay, in that same year, 1980, you also won your first Malaysia Cup beating Mighty Selangor 2-1 in the Merdeka Stadium. <laughs> so tell us about that final. How did that match go? What was the... What was so, the uh, uh, 1980, I just joined them after the Malaysia Cup. Oh, oh you joined them after uh, the Malaysia uh, Cup. So were you a fan watching them? Yeah, the- yeah. I was, uh, I, I was there to watch and most of the time, I'm, I'm there to sell drink. Ring go book pachi, ring go book pachi. In Madika Stadium? No, no. I'm talking about when I when, when I was a fan in Singapore Stadium. Ah, all right. National Stadium. Uh-huh. Uh, every time I I ask my my school teacher. Sometimes uh, I finish class at eight, at six or seven lah. Six lah. Six yeah. normally six. Then I ask him, can I go back early? No. Hmm. Then he allow me to go back at four lah. Uh, that is the best, uh, the best part of the, uh, the part of the joke also lah, easy lah. Uh, so yeah, when yeah. you when you're selling all this food and drinks at the stadium, you made a lot of money in that no, time. Not 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 a lot lah. Okay lah, reasonable lah. Okay, uh, okay. For for me, it's big lah. Suddenly, the first the first day of selling, I I pocketed thirteen dollars. Wow, wow, I'm rich. I tell myself, I'm rich, man. Wow. <laughs> That yeah, was good enough to buy a football, a pair of football boots, huh? I think five dollars I can get a pair of boots at the time. Wow, oh, marvelous! Okay, anything you remember of that final, 1980 against Slango? You know that Slango team, I'm sure had you know the um, Tadari and all these legends from Malaysian yeah. football. So yeah, I think I I watched the game live only lah because you know I think they they leading you no know, and you beat them you no. Know? Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Right. Crazy horse ah, nasi jalil. Ah, uh, Nasir Jalil. Shout out to him. A legend of Singapore football, that one. Yeah, the late Nasir Jalil. Yeah. So, 1987, you were signed by Kuala Lumpur. So, what convinced you to join them? Uh, okay, I think in 1986, hmm. Singapore played Kuala Lumpur in Singapore at uh-huh. National Stadium. Uh, Fundy was uh, with KL. Okay. Uh, we beat them 1-0. Okay. Uh, after the game, Pandi asked me lah. Mm. Uh, maybe you want to follow me to see uh, Dato Banda, no? Uh. The mayor of the KL, no? that yeah, particular yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. I said, why not? And maybe what chance? He he was he, he was the one that pushed me lah mm. to join KL. I said, why not? I said, go lah. After after the game, I I go and see them at um, Glass Hotel, no? Uh huh. From a, at, no, in Singapore. Okay. The game is in Singapore. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Singapore play KL. We beat them 1-0. Hmm. After the game, I went to the hotel and and met the mayor, mayor of Kuala Lumpur, Tan Sri Elias, and uh, start the conversation. Ah. Uh, the one that really pushed me is Pandi. Ah, uh, join. Okay. I said, why not? Then he asked me, uh, you are you willing? To play for KL, I said sure. Why not? Can ah, <laughs> uh, straight to the point. Next uh, week, just, just like that, huh? Very simple. Next week, I visit him in KL. I fly to KL. I come back. I straight away agree, agree, agree. Wow. Uh, to play. Then I come back to back in Singapore after one one two days. I I inform FA uh, that I'm going to play uh, for for KL. 87 onward lah, but September 86 after I finish all the Malayan Cup, everything is over. Yeah. I pack up and go to uh, to KL in September. At least, at least I can prepare myself with the team, no? Okay, okay. For the full season. Yeah. <coughs> Because that particular time, all the Malaysia Cup will, will end by June, oh, July, no? Ah, uh, yeah. right. Okay. Wow. That that period of time also. I think it was a glorious period of time for the City Boys, which is KL. Yeah. So alongside you, you had, of course, as mentioned, Fundy was there, K Kanan, yes, Shabising, yes, Lim Chong Kim, Lim Chong Kim, Lam, players, yeah. legend players, and you had Chow Kwai Lam as your manager, correct? Coach, as a coach, uh, coach, coach, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, in European terms, manager. Yeah, they call manager lah. Yeah, in uh, yeah. local football, is coach. He's the head coach. Local football, they call manager. Yeah. Damage, wow! <laughs> we, we should bring back these words yeah. back to now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you won two, you won the league twice, 
Malaysia it, Cup thrice and there was yes. ASEAN Champions Cup that you won twice. Yeah. So what was that period like playing for KL? You know, the football you guys play, the camaraderie in the dressing room. And like maybe you could share with us some of the activities you guys did off the pitch. No, I, I think... Okay, basically, KL team, before the start of Malaysia Cup, every year, three years, I will them four years, lah, kind of three years, the champion time. Hmm. Every year before the pre-season, we will, we will train in Czech Republic and Slovakia. No? Oh. That, that time, they call it Czechoslovakia. No? Yeah, yeah. Czechoslovakia, yeah. 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 Three years in a row, we were there. No? Three years hmm. pre-season. I think that part make us together. Really together. I think this KL team, uh, how to say it? I tell you, uh, if we go anywhere, Shopping, go disco, all go disco. Go shopping, all go. <laughs> uh, gamble, all gamble. Wow. So I tell you, this one, uh, this is KL. Uh, but uh, team spirit, I think one of the best of my time lah. My career, I think one of the best time. Yeah. I was there for five years, four years with KL, and uh, my last year is with P- police ah, Malaysian uh, police. PDRN. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And like, what kind of football you guys played? Was it like, you know, good football or? Yeah. Re, re, how to say, uh, if I say good, uh, I'm wrong, no? I say I, I, I place myself also wrong, but... Uh, basic, football or was it like... Uh, very, was it like entertaining, we are, you know, entertaining we are, football. Yeah, we, are, we, are, we got a coach, like, uh, uh, before Kuala Lumpur take over, we got Joseph Vengloss, no? Yeah, Joseph Vengloss, yeah. And and uh, I think the third year, we also got Joseph Jankic, no? Who's, yeah. who's, with also, uh, also yeah, also yeah. one check also. Uh, this this a uh, blend of uh, players and the togetherness that Joseph Bangalore be, bring us together. Uh. Mm. Really, that's uh, the three years every 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 year. No, the the eighty seven, eighty eighty nine. We won that particularly before the season start. We we were in Czech Republic uh, yeah. or Czechoslovakia, no training. Yeah. At three years in a row. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So that period is over now in KL. What yeah. made you return to Singapore after that? Uh, I think my b- before I joined, I joined police nation police. Yeah. There is a communication with me and Pandi that uh, we are going to bank together together. Okay. Uh, maybe after I don't know the miscommunication. What Pandi go to bank, then. My mayor himself, uh, Tan Sri Ilyas, tell me uh, there's, there's a, something like a news uh, that I'm, I'm getting the info that he's leaving. No? Uh, and uh, police also uh, spoke to Tan Sri Ilyas that maybe he can pass us some players. And they asked me whether I want to play for Police Malaysia. I said, why, why not? Police Malaysia is in, in the lower league. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I don't, anyway, I don't care. Uh. The world league or upper league, what, what league is so? Just to play so, football, huh? Yeah, as long as I can play, I can stay there for a while lah, in the meantime. So, that is my fifth year hmm. with uh, police. Okay. But the fourth year, the fourth years generally KL uh, not, not doing so well. Uh. And I think Fandi joined Pahang at that time. That was like a dream team of Pahang, right? Uh, Pahang, yeah. uh, Pahang really... become, like, Pahang become like KL. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, right. last, the last few years now nah. um, punk is uh, basically all the uh, national material there yeah yeah Sheb- i think shabby also went to pahang right no no shabby never oh okay yeah. okay uh, yeah. shabby sick yeah i mean if, if, if only football transfers are that easy then how does malik just say you know yeah. i asked you if you want to play and that's it you say okay as long as i want to yeah. play football actually, i want actually, actually sometimes uh we need papers not black and white but sometimes uh we are, we are status like Tan Sri Ilyas or no or many of the Malaysia Basri Akil from Kedah no yeah, all respected yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Sulaiman Manu Sulaiman uh, for the job yeah, all the top top people uh, hmm. uh, with their words I think uh, you can the words be- yeah the words is better than the people uh, I guess okay. oh my god mm. I mean I think Ras I think uh, Malik I think after some difficult years right I think there was this the, the dream team of 93 and 94 I think 
that is probably the most remembered time in Singapore till today. I think everyone talks about it. Even yeah. Ras talks about it all, always. Whenever we had the conversation, he talks about this in football all this time. What do you actually can remember out of the fun fan in the country at the time? Like, you know, was it like the, the hype, the, the, the energy, the, the intensity level that you guys brought in? Talk us through yes. that. Okay, 1993 is so much on the song, no? On the yeah. song, no? Dream uh, like, the Dream Team song. The Dream Team song. I become dreamers, no? after that, suddenly. <laughs> but, but I think 94, uh, the 93 failure doesn't, doesn't make us uh, give up like that, no? Hmm. I think the 1994, the team become more and more uh, mature and experienced, no? Hmm. Uh, we've, we've can actually, honestly, you tell me, Ken Warden. Uh. He's basically the one that made the team together. Okay. Yeah, no doubt before the before the season start, he left us, no? Mm. He gave all these excuses, but he ended up in, in, in slang order. Yeah. I think I think he's he's got he, he got his reason. I don't know also, but I feel I feel a bit disappointed also. Lah, but mm. Douglas Moore come to the picture one or two weeks before the season start. Mm. He I think he also take a gamble, lah, but uh maybe sometimes gamble also, no. If you've got luck, yeah. he come another this kind of fatherly figure, nah. Mm. Douglas Moore, he's very, yeah. very understanding, nah. I, yeah. I guess he's a kind of fatherly figure. I know, I spoke to him so quite some time. When he was he visit Singapore, so I met him sometime. Mm. Uh, I think he he make the team together. Okay. No doubt, all the fitness is all the basically the physically all done by Ken Warden. Mm. He just make it smoother, lah, better, better for us. Okay, and like at that time, how were the fans like towards the team? You know, you had a yeah. lot of support for the team received a lot of support from the fans, correct? A lot of love, yeah. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. So like when you went out on the streets and people recognize you, did they come and ask for autograph? Take pictures. Yeah, I think I think quite quite normal lah that particular time, but also lucky until now. So still we are a bit lucky maybe. I'm I'm one of them also quite lucky, you know. Like maybe Fandi, no need to say lah. Yeah. Yeah. Nyonya sapu longkang also kenal him. Do Do you also get hammered in the streets though, Malik? Yeah, like, uh, quite 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 lucky lah. Still people remember us, no? Yeah. Mm. But, but I also you, want. Do you, you still give out autographs at this age still? Uh, sometimes photograph everywhere also. But but the the good thing I want people to remember us as a footballer and a good guy also lah. Yeah, yeah. Just, a, just, a, just a footballer. Yeah. yeah. So I, just, I was a fan at that time. I was mentioning, and for me, it's difficult because you know I've got my Malaysian links, and being a fan of Singapore it means yeah. you know my cousins yeah. are all gonna give yeah, me nah. hell. They Betrayal give me hell. at they the highest level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The snake, nah. They call the snake, nah. Yeah. The they, snake. They, they give me hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. I supported uh, Singapore mainly for Abasa because that's my favorite yeah. player at that yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. One, of, one of my, my good buddies though. Yeah, very, yeah. Nice, very nice guy. Uh, really, really one of the best player, best, best foreigner we have. Uh. Hmm. So hmm. far the best uh, until now. Uh, and I don't know, uh, I'm very, very close to him. Uh, yeah, he did, I think, he did mention uh, on our show. Uh, his, for me, for me, Abbas, Fandi, myself, uh, we are uh, very, very close. Mm. And it really helped. I also tried my best to help Abbas because, you know, you are foreigner, you, know, you are away, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All the way, then, yeah. then he, he need friends uh, who are more, more serious uh, about helping him. I think he's a good boy. Uh. Yeah. Good boy. Uh. <laughs> good boy, really. He's, he, that's why I said, must know him personally, then you know him. Good boy with a tricky smile, I think, Russ. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we. He, he's not actually. danger. He's not danger. He's dangerous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had a good fortune of uh, interviewing him on the show as well. And coincidentally, that was Kelvin's debut on our show. Oh, so, Joel, wow. you're debuting with another Malaysia Cup legend. Yeah, from man. Singapore's team Such an honor. From, that, from back then. Um, okay, Malik. So we know, okay, we know your this Singapore teams or the dream team is, you know, special teams. What can you tell us about the characters in the dressing room? Who was who was the loud one in the dressing room? I'll give you a few. Lah. So I start with who was like the loud one in the dressing room, always shouting. Could be himself though. <laughs> I think I think 
I think in the restroom, uh, Singapore team a bit different. Uh. Uh. I think we, we, we all more concentrate on the game actually. Okay, okay. Uh, ah, if okay. on the field, if on the field, then different. I, ah. I'm, the la, I'm the la one uh, on the field. I can't yeah. figure that. <laughs> yeah, because, because, because my, my, my position, no, playing uh. no, between the top, the, the oh, striker oh. and the defense, uh, then yeah. I think it's not said loud, just uh, we must Vocal lah. Yeah, yeah, be vocal to help each other, no? He also mm-hmm. helping me, I also helping. Mm-hmm. And keep on encouraging players, no? We don't know. Some yeah. players will come come to the picture when they are quite new, no? But with them, they encourage, encouraging each other, it helped them. No? Mm. Okay, and who was the quiet one in that team? In the team? Uh? Yeah. Was anybody yeah. even quiet though? Yeah, lah, that's why I said, how to be quiet, all dangerous, how to be quiet. <laughs> I'm so intrigued we, by the we, word we, dangerous. People, man. people, people like David, no? Ah, uh, David Lee. Uh, yeah. Tong Hai, uh. Tong Hai. So quiet. Sundar was so quiet, no? Okay. Sometimes he's in and out, lah. Uh. Hmm. Uh, and uh, the funny one. Who was the funny one in that team? Funny one, ah. Uh? Hmm. Always making jokes or. Yeah, like cracking jokes, making you guys laugh. No, after a defeat. Still able to crack jokes. I think Malik lah. Ah, uh, no, no. The Samawiya Basri also. Ah, uh, also a, a big joker. I think. I don't know. I also yeah, part of them also lah. But I think, I think. Uh, Samawira. Yeah, Samawira is the the chief lah. The chief. But huh? but the inside the dressing room as you mentioned earlier, I think our our, our dressing room is not. As loud as other other team, I don't know lah. But maybe after the game, then it become louder lah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but before the game, I think concentration on on most of the players. But before the game, who who takes charge in of the dressing room, Malik? Like, you know, who does the talking, the team talks, you know, get you guys going. Uh, at, uh, most of the senior players lah. We try to encourage the younger one. Uh, hmm. uh for for the team talk will be done by our. Our coaches, lah, huh? coaches, okay. coach. I mean, like uh, that was more. That was more. Every time, keep on encouraging us, no. Mm. Uh, like uh, never say die, no. In keep keep on going. Mistake. No excuse. Everybody make mistake. Mm. If we keep on encouraging each other, uh, I think the second or third time they will, will, will try their best not to make mistake. Okay. That okay. is very very important. I I told my I told many many of my friends also many so- new soccer players or. You can't imagine if you keep on scolding the your your own colleague, they yeah. cannot become better. Only they can become worse. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, that's yeah, that's true. Yeah, for me, yeah, if you uh, can keep on encouraging each other, uh, I think they can become better, better, better. In sense, they try the, themselves not to make more mistake. Ah, uh. hmm. yeah. If he on tekan 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 gonna, yeah. then uh, they they bound to make more mistake. This one I get, I can guarantee you, ah, uh, son. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting insights from the experienced man. Yeah, man. I think Ras, I think this quote has to be written somewhere. I think yeah. you have to do it somewhere. Yeah. This is where must, the young generation. Must put it for all the youth team coaches. Yeah. No, 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 really for me, for me, I think there's many new players that come into the picture. Uh I see some of them uh, be quiet. I said don't be quiet, no, you have to mix around, no, to be part of us, no. Yeah, at uh, that time, I think the young players were like Lee Manhorn and... Uh, I, tell, I tell you, the, the one that really straight away pushed up uh, is one of them is Lee Manhorn, Silveraj, no? Ah, uh, Silveraj. Oh, so when they, come, when they come to the picture, they they keep their position. No doubt, they are very young, no? Yeah. 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 Talking about uh, Lee Manhorn and Silveraj, no? Mm. Uh, they, they, they are the young one, but their position, they keep Kadeyaya, no? Yeah. At that position, they keep they keep to themselves uh, until the end of the season. Uh. Mm. Okay, one final one. Who was the most fashionable one? Who always wore the nicest clothes. Oh, I, I, I'm excited to hear this. Back then, the fashion sense was really dope, no? It's really yeah, nice. Right. That, that, that thing, that one, nothing. Uh, that, 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 I think style, ah. Uh. Uh, style, I think style. Abbas, ah. Uh, Abbas, Abbas, uh. I Abbas. Knew, uh. I had a Abbas, Abbas. Look at the, look at the mirror, ah. Uh. Don't know uh. how long, no. Uh. No wonder no, he's dangerous. Someone, look, someone, someone, no hair. Someone, what to look? <laughs> <laughs> I told him. 
Now no hair. Last time he had. Yeah, last time he had hair. Right? Now I have lah. Last time I have. Now gone lah. Yeah, now gone. But still, still good looking. Yeah. Still dangerous. <laughs> oh my god, Raz! I think la, la, I think the last one we can hit that is Malik. Tell us who was the fittest in the squad. Ah, uh, that one I know. Um, I have to say, yeah. Uh, we speaking. Uh, we 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 have Kade. We have uh, Kade, myself, some. Uh, few of them lah. Uh, we we have lah. Uh, few of them. Uh, Kade, I know Kade myself. The some of the midfield player. Nazri, yeah. Nazri Nasir. Nazri also quite fit. Nazri. Rafi Ali. Rafi, bo- Rafi also quite fit. Sometimes bocah, you no. Know? <laughs> uh, I I think ah uh, yeah, like people like like Kade, the Silver Arch also fit, no. Hmm. Uh, we got few of them, few. Ah, uh, Aj Mani. Uh, um, yeah. Modern, no, also, yeah, also fit. Uh. Um. I think he's finding it difficult, right? You know why not? He's trying. He's, he's just saying that I'm the fittest. I'm just trying no, difficult no, to no, say who no, is no, fitter no, than no, me. No, <laughs> because very simple. You ask me the question, I must give other people, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, then you you you, uh, you ask other people who's the, you ask Raj, Raj who's the fittest? Malik. Uh, Malik. Yeah. Uh, example, uh, example. Uh, it's, it's not not the talking about the features. Uh, my how to say motto, my motto, no, my own self, no. I tell myself, I run in front doesn't mean I'm the best. Mm. Yeah. I I run in front. I want to be part of the team, and if I fail, at least I go back two or three steps behind, no. Uh, if no. I go behind number ten or number fifteen, I go back two steps behind. It's already number twenty, no. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then you see the gap, no? Hmm. Uh, that at least at least I put myself there. I cannot. I just go down a bit. And yeah, the other one, the other foreign foreigner also that is very very fit. You can't imagine. Jang Jung. No. Michael Wana. Michael Wana. Wow. Michael Wana, I tell you, this worse than horse. <laughs> worse than horse. <laughs> worse than horse. <laughs> I tell you, he's one of the fittest, no? Uh. Uh, sometimes when he play, he feel very tired after the game. I said sometimes you also on time you run, 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 run. <laughs> Non-stop running in a uh, game. But I tell you, if talking about fitness, one of them is Michael Banana, foreigner, foreigner. Hmm. The wow. rest of the, the rest of the foreigner go chop lah. <laughs> Abbas still quite good. Abbas still quite good. Okay. Sandro Radon, no doubt, is a goalkeeper. Yeah. Sandro Radon is so good. Hmm. This is interesting, Ben. I mean, yeah. Raz, we, we we did the Malaysia side. I think let's bring him back to Singapore. I think uh, Malik. I think the Aztec was launched in uh, 1996. Yeah. Uh, tell us, tell the viewers, you know which clubs do you play for, and you know what was the level of football at that time. Uh, I played for Tampines for 1996. That uh, is I think. I think I think that that particular four or five years, we can see quite a reasonable aspect we got lah. Mm. But uh, you only played for Tampines. Tampines first year ninety six. Tampines ninety seven. Home United ninety eight. Benga Benga Dar Salam. Woodlands. Woodlands. Yeah. Ah uh, okay. My last year is basically. Ah uh, actually, my last year nineteen ninety eight. I is basically I told myself I told Benga. I come also not just for the money lah. Uh. I just I think I I want to play for one more year. Uh, put aside the money. What you want to give me? I just take only. Uh, it just maybe I want to share what I have with all the younger one. Hmm. Then I stop. I stop lah after that. Okay. Then I try to go coaching lah, but I think uh, plus and minus, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. I think no need lah. <laughs> really, really. I think I I think I make right right move also lah right choice also lah. There's I think there's so many former player who is coaching lah, uh, but uh, but some some of them also struggling lah. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think yeah. you just said it right, but like you know, there are a lot of people, a lot of coaches now have stopped playing and then they went on to coaching. Hmm. And you know, in terms of national team wise also, 
know there are a lot of players that's up and coming right now. But if you have looked at the current national team, all right, if you have looked at the current national team, who actually do you uh, think reminds you of the way you play? Uh, maybe people like Haris Harun, I can consider quite okay, no? Uh, there's a lot of players, uh. most of them are uh, up and going. No, up and going up, no, up and going out. Oh, that's a lot, actually. <laughs> really? Tell you. Okay, I, I, had, I didn't tell myself and tell most of the players, we can consider ourselves as a national player if we can, we can reach our standard until five years, we'll be in the national team. No? We don't play for the national team for five years, uh. How I want to call myself a national player? How many cap I got? No? Uh, five years. Five years means quite not bad, no. You play quite uh, numbers of game, no. Yeah. But if you five years, you are in and out, in and out, ding dong, ding dong. You play nothing actually. And uh, how I want to call myself a national player? There's so many national player in and out, in and out, no. Mm-hmm. And but now it's also a bit very lucky. The money is there, no, because you play for the club, you 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 make good money, no. Yeah. yeah. But, but in the other day, if you make good money. You just just for the sake of money. I I, I need the money. I know. I, I also need money, you no. Know, but you just for the money. I mean, I really uh, not not not. I I want the money, but not in my book like at all. Mm-hmm. I just the money. I don't want. I want to I want to play to perform, play well also, you no. Know? Help the team. Help the team grow, you no. Know? Not whether win or lose, but we help the team grow. Wow, well, I think this is. Such COVID, but I, I, I'm still yeah, no. shell shocked from the way he talked. Though. Yeah, no, no, he literally I, I, went all out, bro. He literally just yeah. went all out. That, that's the Malik yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I, 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 I got no paper, no. I got no paper, no. I study also not so good. Uh, but yeah, yeah, football make yep. make me everything also lah. Make me have many friends, many friends. No, not fans. Ah. I don't call them them fans. Many friends. I'm a bit lucky. I can play for. Uh, for KL also, I think one of my best, my best venture. I think mm. the best football time I got is in in KL. Mm. Not, uh, I never said I'm not not a good time in Singapore. Singapore is my country, you no. Know? Yep. Sure, is the is the best. I, 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 you tell me anything also, still the best. But uh, my four four five years with with KL is really uh, uh, Memorable. Blessing, memorable. Uh, yeah, yeah. Memorable as everyone, everyone. I tell you, this, this, KL, this KL team, uh, before the season, we travel. After the season, also we travel. Because what, we champion? When we champion, we can deal with Tan Sri, no? This Tan Sri is a bit, uh, kind of, very open. Uh. Before season, travel. After the season, champion. Go, uh, travel to where? Yeah, everywhere. Australia, US, KL team, KL team, yeah. Uh. And many people don't know lah. Just share with you all lah. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good insight for those that <coughs> think. Man, I think before the season they travel. After the season, once they've achieved, they have <laughs> traveled. But I think the key word here is once you've achieved what the goals for the season, yeah. And yeah, then you guys travel. because actually, yeah, you can talk when you you bring something to the to the club, no? Yeah. Uh, you bring. I I tell you, I think I think uh, one of the year we have about four or five trophy, no. Uh. We won. We won. First, we won. We, we uh, opening ceremony. They call what? Uh, yeah. Piala Sumbangse. Sumbangse lah. Uh, uh, then Penalty shield. We won. Yeah. Uh, top scorer award. We won. Uh, uh, league. We won. FA Cup. We won. FA Cup. Yeah. 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 Sometimes, you know. It's a clean won, sweep lah. Yeah. Yeah. Won the year. We get everything lah. I think. I think that's true. I think this is what the current you know footballers, the current national team needs to hear. But Malik, I'm going to give, put you in a very difficult situation. I'm going to ask you a very, uh, I think, important question that I think all football fans around Singapore want to know. Do you uh, think this current national team has got what it takes to tackle the big boys of Asia? I no. think you have seen the... the, the no, the, no, no. no. <laughs> Even if I haven't finished, he said that. Uh, but okay, I'm going to let you. Uh, the floor is yours. No, no I, I'm not... Nothing. There's a question. I have to answer the question, no? Uh, you want me to answer a uh, political answer? Uh, just uh, 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 your passionate bull- reply will be great. Bullsh- bullshit one or from my heart? From, from your heart. heart. There, there is a lot of talent in Singapore. But you tell, uh, I'm not comparing my time and their time. I don't, I don't, I don't compare all this. But you ask me for us to fight with them, really, really difficult. Uh, and I hope 
our FA uh, must have more and more people who are very very passion about football, no? not just go there, you know, to 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 earn a living is fair, no, to earn a living is fair. Yep. Just just to to be part of the you know happy happy you know like that everyone. You must be, have the passion, and I hope many many more people. And uh, I've got nothing against all the foreign coaches in Singapore. I think Singapore team must be run by local coaches. Ooh. That is for my heart, no? No, I see. What you compare about the AFF Cup, the Japanese guy, <laughs> we can say he's doing well, but we lost, no? In the day, we lost. Nobody, if those who never come to the stadium will ask you, hey, hey who play well? Huh? Hey, who get your look at? Nobody, they ask who win or who lose. Who yep. Yeah, this is normal. But like, we got a lot of talent. We got Fundy, we got Kade, we got Sundra Muti, we got Silver Rush, we got many, many more. Yaya Madun, Dali Supai, many coaches. Teddy Pak Madun, Surya Muti, all have a license. Maybe, maybe they are not talented, but we never give a chance. You know, they, whether they can do. Sometimes the team, okay, many good team taken by top team. Manchester got many, many, Manchester United got many good coaches. Also fail sometimes. No? It's hitting Sometimes a very spot now. <laughs> no, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. I know one of you is... Uh, everybody tell me, my group is Manchester and Liverpool. Every day in my group, my phone, or oh, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Malik. What are you, Malik? Derby County is bloody stupid oh. coming, they said. Derby County. <laughs> uh, but okay. Classic. Okay. Yeah, this is very old club. I yeah. still support them. Uh, they are not so good. Wayne Rooney is not doing so getting well. Better, getting better, getting better slowly. I, I, I hope so. As long as they can survive, okay. Yeah. Uh, that is what Woodland was the same. The Ram. That's why Binga called this 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 the team Ram. the Ram. He also the big county. Uh, and another, another Gundu also that one. <laughs> <laughs> my good friend. We've... Honestly, my good friend also. Wow, such passionate cry from the the national team. I hope you guys are listening. I, I think this is what Malik has uh, said to. His uh, view on the, the national team. I hope for, more, for more it's, it's from his heart. It's from his heart. Malik, just a last one before Ross will wrap this up. Uh, I'm not too sure if you watch the current SPL. I think right now, before it's S-League, now it's called Singapore Premier League. Have you watched a little bit of this? Yeah, I watched a bit, a little bit of this. Yeah. Do you think, um, yeah. do you think okay. over the years, over the years, that you have, you have you're seen from S-League and then it transformed into SPL, do you think it has reached the highest level or do you think, no, there's more to come? Yeah, more to come. Okay, the the best the best thing is the best thing. I just want to say that I can be wrong, no? I can be wrong. Uh, Lion City sellers hmm. basically they sweep everything. They got no excuse not to win the league. Yeah. They got everything from from the kid men from everywhere also all national material. No? Hmm. They have no excuse not to win. A bit disappointed, I feel. The top two goalkeeper in Singapore, number one it's and number one two, team. is playing for the same club. This is, yeah. I'm telling you, I, I, I don't know how they go about about this. I have nothing against Hassan Sani and Izzuan Mahmud. I got nothing against them. They, 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 they choose to play for this club. They get the, maybe they get the best money. Okay, I'm happy for them. Nothing against anybody, but just I want to tell them, uh, no meaning for me. FA have to step in because I you see the two the two best goalkeeper in Singapore I can say playing for the same club one has to stand by no and one can play only. Mm. Uh, I mean I mean uh, it's not for me to 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 say anything but I'm just feel my give my own view lah mm. but I think not not so good for Singapore football lah. Yes, sayang, yes, sayang, sayang. It, yeah, it hurts. It hurts definitely. It hurts. Sayang, but sayang for the hopefully for the there's more to come by in SPL. Russ. Yeah. yeah. So on that note, actually, LCS is was your former club also, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I, that's, why, that's why. That's why. I said. I said. I I I talk to my heart. No, I'm not nothing to hide. Yeah. There's no excuse for them not to win. Yeah. They, yeah. Uh, any kind of any kind of game they should they should should win the league lah. They can lose one or two games, normal. Top team also lose, no, one or two games, yeah. no. But in the end of the day, they have to win the league. Uh. Mm. Uh, they, they, they got the money, they got all the players. But they really said sometimes you see, yeah. Uh, the last game I saw the 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 uh, game against Tampines, I think so. 
both I saw, clubs. I saw the first level and I saw the reserve. I see the reserve, ah, huh? it's just like the first level also. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. this what sayang, ah, huh? no, Yeah. I mean, if you have the talent, you reserve, ah. Huh? Yeah. That's why, uh, sometimes I, I tell myself I better play for a lower club, but I play first level. Uh. Uh, unless I play for Liverpool, lah. I play for for <laughs> for Manchester. I play for Man City. What really? If I can play for this team, I reserve. My, like my first year, nah, like my first my first year in Singapore team, my first tournament in Singapore team. I'm a bit lucky that Kings Cup many many play, players no go don't go. Mm. I was I was playing first level. The second tournament, many players come back. No, we play in Hong Kong with the weather so cold. I was on the bench, mm. but I'm I'm quite lucky with the lineup. You see the lineup they have. Uh, you reason also you feel your your part of the team. So many good and talented players, no? Sama lah BK, Asli Ibrahim, Syed Muttalib, Pak Kim Song, uh, Surya Muti, Pak Man Aden, Nasir Jalil. So many good striker, Fandi Ahmad there, no? And the, the the young one is me and Kanan. We are okay. quite lucky, no doubt we, we are on the bench. But I think I'm very, very happy also we on the bench. Now, now in the current national team or current Asli I play, I'll be on the bench, better I retire. <laughs> really? And I want to tell also, if I happen to meet this guy, Haris Harun, he must play last man only. He must play last man only now. He can keep him the place for himself the next few years. If he start, he keep. He want to come back to midfield, then I think he's going to to retire. Mm. If nothing against him. If I see yeah. him also outside the market, also I tell him, I talk because I care for you all. That's it. Nothing. Yep. Yep. I think I think he he spoke for all foot, Singapore footballers fans today. Yep. And yeah, he spoke from the heart, you know. That's yeah, man. Really uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, like I say, I've I've always had this off off the record conversations with Malik and all that. I know the kind of person he is, and he's always very passionate about Singapore football, and he speaks from the heart, and uh, he speaks well. Uh, sometimes it's direct, so people can't take it. But yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. That's why sometimes yeah. uh, the one that uh, he, sorry. Straight to the point, hypocrite. All good people sometimes. The one that direct is no good. Okay lah, what to do? Yeah. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot stop them. I cannot stop them. Uh, okay, Malik. Just one uh, question. Do you have an all-time favorite player? Like someone you watch when? You yeah, play? I. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, Os- Osvaldo Aldiles, no, is a ah, good yeah. player, no. Osvaldo. Uh, I think. Uh, John Tigana is. John Tigana, Tigana yeah, no, yeah, the yeah, one yeah. France player. France, yeah. And then all these France players, all small size, like uh, they are bigger than me, I guess so. But <laughs> but they, they look smaller among the, all their group also lah. Uh-huh. You, know, you see, you see this Chelsea players, Kante, you know. Yeah. Nobody, no, nobody is a lorry driver or what driver also, no. <clears throat> or he play football, no. See, mm. size is secondary, no. Yeah, true. He's one of the smallest in the team, but big and up, no. Yeah. Big yeah, very very solid. Yeah, correct. And then yeah. Spain had all those small players. Zavi, small players, Zavi. yeah. Xavi Alonso, no, no, all the Xavi Alonso is quite big, lah. Xavi, no, the, the one that Zavi, coach, yeah. the one that yeah. coach, coach Barcelona, no. Yeah. All of them also small, no. Yeah. But correct. this Kante, no, this Kante, uh, John Tigana, Alan Gires, no, they all small size basically, Alan no. Gires, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you in 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 the team, I think is it blend, nah. Mm. There should be have some small, some big, no. Yeah. Uh, if the goalkeeper is five feet, then mampus lah. Goalkeeper <laughs> must be uh, quite tall lah. Huh? Yeah. yeah, midfielder is the safest part lah. Because... Uh, you just you, play the uh, ball on the ground. Only. Yeah, because you challenge more uh, is the striker and the defender. Hmm. Yeah, midfield also challenge, but not so much. Huh? On the air. Yeah. Okay, guys. It's been a very, very fun conversation with Malik. As, as the show is aptly called Candid with Malik. Awap. So thanks a lot, Malik, for taking the time to speak to us. It's yep. an you. honor and pleasure to listen from you and uh, to be friends with you as well. You know, Malik, I got to say that is is really an honor from watching. Thank you. On Thank TV. you. Oh, just I, just the normal people. Don't worry. Yeah. Yes. So humble as well. You know. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Joel, any last words on your debut? Yeah, yeah. man. I mean, I, I I'm speechless to get such a. An honorable guest as my debut. So Malik, thank, thank you. you so much. I think you made my day. You made my uncles, my dad's day. I think they all are so happy 
they, thank I you. I just sent your picture to them, and they are like going on and on. So they are huge fans of you. So thank you so much for grazing this evening with thank us. You. Yeah. Send my best regard to your parents. Definitely. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you, Malik. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Don't be naughty.